Old King Cole was a sad little soul, for a wet and leaky diaper had he. So he called for one that could help stop leaks. Tis Huggies, my lord, for thee. Now Kleenex Huggies Super Trim Diapers have leakage control shields that help block leaks like no other diaper. They form a unique double barrier for leakage protection that's fit for a king. Now Huggies are the royal choice. They truly make this king rejoice. Huggies, happily ever after. Molly Dodd, sponsored by Final Net Hairspray. A little Final Net goes a long, long way. Dress your many moments in sterling silver, the eternal element of style. Sterling. 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 Affordably yours from Silver Sensations. Only on CVN, the shopping channel. Marie Dumas, a woman of the 80s, the 1880s. Dedicated to healing the sick. A woman of strength and compassion. Marie Dumas, a woman who makes a difference in a place called Border Town. Weekends, only on the Family Channel. Teens and parents can live together in peace on What's Up, Dr. Ruth. Tonight at 12.30 a.m., 11.30 Central, only on Lifetime. You're watching Lifetime Television. We never used to have secrets. The cops find out about this, I'm down for the count. For free information in the mail, call 1-800-532-7300. This is a free call, 1-800-532-7300. You're watching Lifetime Television. I've been learning that this business is not just about playing music. It's about luck, timing, and all those other stupid showbiz cliches. You know, you had a lot to do with making it happen. More than anyone. I hope you realize that. Because knowing me, I'm going to forget to tell you. Yeah, check it out, Molly. It's really me on the cover. Fred C. Dodd has finally arrived. The D train is steaming into the station. Whoa, Mama, Fred C. Dodd on CD. Not only recorded on tape and vinyl, but on C, Mother D. Ain't that a kick? Ain't that America? So, listen to the music, Molly. There's a song in it for you. Listen real close, you'll hear it in there somewhere. Don't blame me, I didn't design the package. I just play the tunes. Molly Dodd, sponsored by Final Net Hairspray. A little Final Net goes a long, long way. That's it for the news. Now let's take a look at today's weather.
cold winds out of the north northwest today. <laughs> Boy, is it going to be a hot, sticky one out there today. <laughs> At last, a weatherproof formula that holds longer and stronger than the other leading pumps. Honey, don't forget your booze. <laughs> Exclusively ours, new Final Net Ultimate Hold. The weatherproof hold that lets you laugh at the weather. <laughs> Garfield, I need your help. Hmm, that goes without saying. We have to tell cats out there about new Alpo cat food. Hey, cat food is for the unimaginative. Imagine this. Alpo cat food, so full of nutritious proteins, every serving's like a balanced seven-course meal. And the taste... I'll be the judge of that. So, Garfield... What would you tell cats about Alpo? Two! Demand seconds! New Alpo cat food. Canned and dry varieties. Tested and mm. approved. This new Chevrolet Lumina Coupe just helps Chevy do what no other car company has ever done before. Win the NASCAR Manufacturers Championship for the seventh year in a row. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. This year, Chevy drivers were caught doing over 150 miles per hour on city streets. In each case, the driver received a citation. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. Macho Comics, move over. It's time for the feminine touch. Hi, pigs. When some sizzling comedians reveal their softer side. Well, I wish I had a gun. Join host Martin no. Short and four fun-loving gals. Why don't I just stand here and you could beat me with a stick? Now, who said comedy isn't pretty? <laughs> Women of the Night. Isn't she something? Wednesday at 10 p.m., 9 Central, here on Lifetime. Molly Dodd, this is Nathaniel Hawthorne of the New York Police Department. Mm -hmm. You're under arrest. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I already used that one, I know. It's the only one I know. But seriously, I just called to make sure we were on for tonight. Mm-hmm. Hi, dear. Arthur and I are going out to dinner tonight, and we thought you might like to join us. No. Knowing how you've been lately, we don't expect you to be actually there, but we'll save a seat for you just in case. Call me. Hi, Mom. No, listen, I can't. I've got a date. No, I don't always have a date. Oh, good. Act hurt. Oh, my God. Mom, look at Benny. No, 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 I'm looking at this old photo of Benny. Oh, do you remember how much I love that little pooch? Oh. Yeah, he was always out in the yard. I miss him. I miss our old house. No, I was just going through these damn boxes. Yeah, no, I know, Mom. I just haven't had the chance. Oh, my God, will you look at this? Ah, oh, wait, 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 I have to read something to you. The beautiful tree, its branches growing upwards, stretching to the sky. What? Yes, Mom, I know, I was just a kid. Well, it's not supposed to rhyme, it's called haiku. Okay, Mom, listen, I gotta go. Bye, sorry about dinner. Woof. <laughs> Get up. It's okay. Let's go where we can hear ourselves talk. So, what do you think? Do you like the sound? I love it. Uh, it's uh, different. It's... it's contemporary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and thanks for the CD. I only wish I owned a CD player. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're on three different formats. Uh, here. How do you like the cover? Great photo. You don't think I look too much like a goon? A little goony, yeah, but the uh, overbite's very cute. How do you seem nervous? Why are you nervous? Am I making you nervous? Do I look nervous? Yeah, jumpy as a cat. Maybe I'm nervous. There's so much going on. I've never been in this position before. 
We're hot, and I don't want to screw it all up again, you know? Yeah, but you're not going to screw anything up. Just play your music. If I do my own mixing and stay on top of things and uh, maybe get a beeper or something... Yeah, well, beepers are always good. And now I'm here to help you. You are? Yeah, I'm going to take you up on your offer, so here I am. Well, I thought... I thought you were going to do that uh, publishing job. Didn't you say you were going to do that? I mean, it sounded right up your alley. Uh, uh, is this not what you expected? No, this is great! Hey, guys! Look who's just joined the team! See, Molly, they're all excited. Yeah, well, uh... So, where do I sit? Where's the phone? Where's the bathroom? You know, you're gonna have to show me where you keep the ledgers and the booking slips, the inventory, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you all right. Yeah, you're gonna take to this like a rooster. Like a rooster what? I don't know. Clucks. So, uh, this is the couch where we sit down and listen to the music. Are uh, you, you remember Randy? Hi. Well, you've certainly become a nice, cohesive unit. Thanks. Hey, you're drifting off a little bit on those last riffs, eh, Willie boy? No, it sounded good to me. Right. Uh, all right, man, let's listen to it later. I'm fried on it. All right, good. Uh, I gotta get going anyway. I, I got a meditation class I gotta get to. See you, Molly. Bye. Exhibit. Uh, have you sort of been in charge of things? Because I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Uh, nobody's in charge. That's kind of been the problem. We're just babes in the woods here. Well, Molly's gonna fix everything. <sighs> well, I'm all for that. Why don't you guys talk business? I'm starving. Can I bring you back some donuts or something? Coffee. Dad, you want an English muffin? No. No, thanks. Why would I want an English muffin? I don't know. Well, um, I'll be back in a little bit. I like her. Yeah, she's very, uh, decent. Mm -hmm. Things have been going well for the two of you. Yeah, ever since we've been playing together. I mean, uh, Musically speaking. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's fine, Fred, you know, I can handle it. Do we need to talk about this? No. What's new with your cop? Well, I don't know what's gonna happen there. I mean, he's smart, he's funny, he's, uh, he's decent, too. Did you say you wanted an English muffin? No. Well, I do. Fred, we gotta talk about the job. We'll talk about it tomorrow. There's plenty of time. Go around, get the feel of the place. We'll get into the details later. Well, this was intelligent. Hey, lady. Want a puppy? Oh, uh, no, thanks. Come on, take a look. It ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, would you look at his face? He's just like my dog, Benny. Oh, he is adorable. Hello. Listen, he's going for 45 bucks. But saying you and him have something sort of special, 25 bucks. But don't tell nobody. Where did you get him? Well... You see, my girl that had this old dog, his name was, uh, Benny. Yeah, she had Benny since she was a little kid. Hmm. And Benny finally had these pups. So Benny must have been quite an elderly dog. Yeah, about 75. Uh-huh, so that would make him about, what, uh, 495 in dog years. That's quite a dangerous age to be giving birth, especially for a male. The dog is freezing. Can't you take him? No. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Jewish holiday. What Jewish holiday? The big one. Are you a midget? No, I'm a neighborhood urchin. Now, if you just give me the 25 bucks, no deal, no dice, no dog. 20 bucks. Not a chance, Miss Dodd. Davey, come on. It's only for just a couple of nights. What'd you pay for him? How do you know I didn't find him just meandering through the streets? Puppy scam. Peddling him all over the city. 
Oh, yeah, the notorious puppy peddlers. Now, if you would have read my book, you wouldn't be in this predicament. It's all in there, plain as day. Well, I'll take them off your hands for now, Miss Dodd. But you're going to have to kick in for the kibbles. What are you going to do with them? Oh, underground network. When the next train comes, we sneak them across the border. It's relatively safe. What's that noise? Well, it's not another puppy, if that's what you're thinking. I wasn't. Thank you. Try and keep him warm, Davy, and I will get to your book. Be quite a feather in your cap to discover a new literary genius. Could get you a fast promotion. Ah, well, Davy, as far as that goes, I am not working in the literary field at the present time. No, now I am working in the music business field, sort of, I think. Well, I've always thought of my novel as a symphony of sorts, and me the composer. Huh. Uh, but not your usual work of fiction. Atonal, if you will. Davy, I promise I will read your book. You know, it's just that I have been very busy lately. And, you know, a 36,000-page manuscript is uh, a bit intimidating. Well, I understand, Miss Dodd. One has to move at one's own tempo. Allegro non troppo. And what does that mean? I don't know. Just typical doorman, mumbo-jumbo. So, what did you pay for your puppy? Forty-five. Sap. I can't believe it. Don't you ever quit? Oh, I've been away a long, long time. I mean, a really long time. And my roommate is still going strong. Meet his roommate. Renews it roommate air freshener with twice the freshening liquid. So it freshens air longer than magic mushroom. It's incredible. I can't believe how long my roommate is lasting. Long-lasting roommate from Renews It, where fresh ideas are always in the air. What happens when you add Clorox bleach to soft scrub cleanser? Ooh, the label turns green. And stains come clean. Get soft scrub with the stain-fighting power of bleach. Grandpa, you really know how to throw a party. Orville and Gary Redenbacher introduced light microwave popcorn. What better reason to celebrate, Grandpa, than this new fantastic light microwave popcorn? Well, you can celebrate any time when you have popcorn with one-third less calories. And two-thirds less fat in a regular microwave. This is a fantastic tasting popcorn. <coughs> Grandpa, who would ever think that you are a party animal? <laughs> That'll teach him. You got a great product. It's a great party. During the J.C. Penney semi-annual lingerie sale, you'll find beautiful bras, briefs, day wear coordinates, and more, all at 25 to 33 percent off, which should leave you sitting pretty. Celebrate the new year all month long with January movies on Lifetime. I'll drink to that. I don't know what's happening to it. For this. Push the shrimp ball. <laughs> January. Oh, these feel like somebody else's shoes. My toes are all squished. <laughs> I was watching. Nobody took your shoes. Yeah, well, then I got somebody else's feet. <laughs> Believe me, I know what it feels like when your paws are pinching. Yeah, well, you being a flat foot and all. Yep. Well, I can't believe this. I can't find my keys. I do this about once a week. You probably left them in the restaurant. Don't worry about it. We'll go back tomorrow and pick them up. Yeah, well, it would be nice to get in sometime tonight. Excuse me. Hey, now, how did you do that? Oh, nothing special. <laughs> Just your basic credit card break-in 101. Well, can you show me how you did that? Because it would really come in very handy next week when I lock myself out again. Well, it's not really something you should know. Oh, okay. Well, if I ever need to break into my apartment, I know who to call. Yeah. Uh, wanna come in? Um, it's, it's late. I, I, I don't want to keep you up. No, I'm not real tired. Well, uh, just 
Make yourself comfortable on the sofa. What would you like to drink? Um, do you have um, sugar-free cran apple juice? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Bottled water? Yes, I do have that. You're not allergic? No, not to water. Well, I'm just trying to be safe. I know you're allergic to most of the main food groups. Well, first off, I'm particularly allergic to shellfish and to dairy products. And as far as the other food groups go, I just happen to be a finicky eater. Water's fine. Well, oh, well, I mean, no, I didn't mean to uh, criticize. Uh, in fact, you know, walnuts make the roof of my mouth itch. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, strawberries put, put welts on my back. Gee, I, I love strawberries. I hate welts. Yeah. Oh. Boy, allergies are... Yeah. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of minutes ago, I was extremely comfortable, and now I just feel a little bit, uh, I don't know. Uncomfortable. Tremendously. I have an idea. Uh, it might be sort of stupid. What? I think we should just kiss. You know, to break the tension, and that after we did that, that we would both feel uh, less uncomfortable. Or we could just watch Ted Koppel. I know this is going to feel a little strange to both of us, but but I'm going to be as direct as possible, okay? If you tell me you're gay, I'm going to be very disappointed. Rest easy. Good. Uh, so what's the problem? Well, for starters, the, the black and white issue. Don't tell me. You're black. Well, as long as you understand that. Yes, I think so. Oh, well, good. Then that won't be a hassle. No. Next. Lord, I'm not going to say this. Well, just say it. Protection. Well, just in case. Ah, uh, uh, oh. Wait right here. Explain. Um, oh, no. You don't have to. They're condoms. I know. I've, I've seen them. Uh, they were a present. A, a birthday present. Well, kind of a funny birthday present. Uh, yet serious. Very, very serious. Especially in this day and age. Especially. Uh, it's a kind of a tongue-in-cheek, uh, sort of a but yet practical way of saying... Nice basket. Uh-huh. And... Get these colors, just every kind of sort of style, type, uh, size. Uh, these Tahitians motif ones there. Uh, it's a veritable potpourri, isn't it? You're pretty much prepared for these kind of situations. No, I? no, I'm not. I'm never uh, prepared. Well, I mean, I am in a, w in a way. God, I just... Don't worry. I understand. You must think I'm horrible. I think you're beautiful. Especially when you're embarrassed. I love your face. I love your nose, your eyes, your hair. Flo, you're the most elegant woman I've ever known. Well, thank you, Arthur. Is there something wrong, Flo? I think I'd better go. No, I don't think it's too cold for this time of year. I said, I think I'd better be going. Oh. But the night is young. Stay a little longer and relax. Please? 
I'm having a tough time relaxing right now. Am I doing anything improper? No, not at all. You are always a perfect gentleman, Arthur. I would love to stay. But I really must go. Whatever you want to do, Flo. I want to stay. What? I'm staying. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. This is ridiculous. If I want to stay, I should be able to stay. I wasn't arguing about that, was I? No, I was. Oh, good. Because I have a little trouble hearing sometimes. I should speak more clearly. But you've decided to stay, right? Yes. If I could just get those voices out of my head. Voices? Edgar, Molly, Dwight, Mamie. Well, not so much Mamie. I'm going to fix myself a little nightcap. All those voices are making me nervous. Do you want one? Yes, please. You know, after Edgar died, I thought I would never be able to feel the same way about another man. It made me terribly sad. But now there's you. And I know it can never be the same. But it can still be as good. Just different. I know the kids will never understand. All they know is that Edgar and I were together for so many years, most of our lives, all of theirs. Oh, there's so much history. And there's a certain comfort in that. Not that it was perfect, far from it. But it's the history that can hold you back sometimes. Well, I need to begin again. Make a fresh... Clean start. Felt so grungy. Those detective clothes all day. I really needed that shower. Hope you don't mind. No, I'd rather you weren't grungy. I used your shampoo, I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. It, it wasn't pH balanced. <laughs> I hope I don't break out in hives. Hey, you got any lotion? Mm-hmm. It's under the sink. It's probably chock full of carcinogens. Oh, great! It's the kind I use. Uh, uh, Hawaiian Sunset. Yeah, coconut and aloe. Perfect moisturizer. Could you? What? My back. Oh, sure. Um, do you want to do it over there, or would you like to lie down on the bed? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think I think? I think listening to you tonight makes me care about you even more. I can't tell you how pleased I am that you feel this strongly about me. You do know that I love you, Flo. I'd never want to rush you in any way. Shut up and kiss me. Why keep plucking? Did you know there's a hair coloring as gentle to the hair as a shampoo? It's loving care. Loving care covers your gray. A beautiful match to your natural color. No peroxide, no roots. It's as gentle to the hair as a shampoo. Nature is forcing you to make a decision. Make it. Gray hair or loving care. Good guys can wear black, because the God Squad is back. You want me to hurry, right? Yes. In all new adventures. Really must learn how to drive. Watch for the return of the Father Dowling Mysteries, Thursday on ABC Television.